The first time we sat in biology class, we were told that everything we see that's living around us is made up of cells. So we start asking ourselves pretty much along biology, what is everything made up of? At least the chemical part of it. So the same question can be applied to proteins. What are proteins made up of? And before we answer this question, I want to point out that proteins are biological molecules that function as enzymes, as hormones, as receptors, as channels, transportators, antibodies, and they play a very important role inside and outside the cell in terms of structure. So it's very important to understand what proteins are. So the answer to that question is the amino acid. The amino acid is the, is the, is the basic protein building block. Uh, to better understand the amino acid, we have to understand both the chemical aspect and how they interact with one another. So the generic formula of the amino acid is right in front of us. The amino acid is composed of an amino group, as we see over here. It's composed of a carboxylic group, or carboxyl group. And we know that we, there are 20 different amino acids. And the reason I'm telling you this is you're probably thinking, what makes an amino acid different from another amino acid? And, and the answer in that question is the R variable, also called the side chain. The R variable will distinguish the amino acid from one another. So every amino acid we see is going to have the basic generic formula of, of, of this structure right here. But the R, the R variable is going to be different and it's going to determine the physical and chemical properties of an amino acid. And quickly to discuss the two types of bonds between the amino acids, and the most common two covalent bonds are the peptide bonds that happen between two amino acids and the disulfide bond, or the, sorry, excuse me, the disulfide bridge that happens between the cysteine R groups. And that will be discussed in the next video.